Yo hey what's up guys, currently we are on the test server to check out what's coming up in the next update. Yes you heard me right in the next update and I think it will be soon, sooner than later just a couple days or maybe a week or so and we get a couple of juicy things. The biggest thing for me was the epic empowerments, what can they bring, how crazy it's gonna be and stuff and that's what we're gonna check out in today's video by doing Hydra and trying to do a little bit of solo runs on certain dungeons to check out what's up and stuff but first of course obviously we're gonna talk about what changed in the tavern that's gonna be part of the next update too in the tavern we will get a button right there for a filter you probably saw that already but it is exactly the same filter that we have in our champion collection and it is a really good one also we will have a when you level up a champion we will get a little juicy button down here and it will automatically select on all your comments and uncommons not your rares you don't have any filter settings or something so it's gonna be your comments and your uncommons but that's gonna be huge for your mystery shards they will become viable you gotta pull them now go into your tavern and just click one button and you have them all fed that is amazing to be honest and those shards can be used again for fusions fragment champions and stuff like that you know what i mean also we got a little easy button down here for upgrading our champions on the top you can select the ranking from which you want to go from two to three three to four and stuff uh at the moment i only have five to sixes and they will get displayed down here and you can unselect and select them so in my case i would try to level him up and also you can do filtering like it's gonna be in my case first the priority is on comments and uncomments if i have a five star uncomment it would be selected first and the uncomment comment section first and so on rares epics and legendaries won't be picked at all you can select you can filter out like if they have gear and stuff so most of the time you want to uncheck those i assume and then it will automatically select your uncommons and stuff first in my case it's only chickens because i do only have chickens no other um yeah nothing to feed right there and that's how it's gonna be and then you press the button wait what it was a little bit i didn't i unselect now oh, okay um i just made all those champions level six stars and I made a little bit of a oopsie, so better check out what you actually selected. And I think I unselected them, but yeah, that's just how it is. And also we do have, when you wanna use your skill tones, you can easily slide the bar now and it will check everything. And yeah, you can do it by just a simple click. That is nice. I will not do it right now because I don't care too much about him. And also we can ascend by having a slider right there. That is all nice, everything is cool, quality of life, that is like thumbs up, really nice, I like it. The only thing I do not like of a quality of life is since we get filters at so many spots, we will, uh, no it's not here, wait, what was I'm trying to show you, I will show you what I mean in a second, like any dungeon and you go like in your presets and you want to change something in here there's still no filter in here and yeah sometimes it's a little bit hard when i do my takeovers and stuff to find all those champions different account different accounts and everything else is just a little bit harder for me but yeah it would be cool if they added at some point but now let's go into the really juicy thing and probably the thing why you're here epic empowerment we do have it in the test server right now we select those epics right here we have a filter right there too that makes it super nice so you can just search for your champions it's a little bit hard sometimes and um, yeah i will select that one he's already plus two and he uh that's kind of a bad example let's make it the other way let's select another one so we do have our epics in here for getting one more in here you get plus 10 HP, plus 10 attack, plus 10 defense, and plus 10 resistance, and also accuracy. Nothing else, speed and crit rate, crit damage will not be boosted right there. On the second one, we get plus 20 overall on defense, HP and stuff. We get plus 5 on speed, really nice. 
and resistance and accuracy go up by 20 and also we will get a little bit of a crit damage on plus three we will get actually plus 30 on hp attack defense speed will not be getting boost right there resistance is up to 30 accuracy 32 crit damage get a little mm, was it a boost no there's no more, more boost on crit damage right there but on a force there we get plus 40 guys on hp attack and defense that is amazing plus 10 on speed nice resistance up and accuracy is up to 40 that is so nice you can build your champions totally different if you have those accuracy and resistance checks crit rate is up by five percent not the highest in the world but it is technically really nice you can skip out some crit rate on your gear and put it in attack and stuff so you get more boosts on overall and crit damage plus 15 percent yeah not the highest two in the world but it is nice so i tested out stuff and also <laughs> i spent like 500,000 gems okay not 500 350,000 gems to pool yeah to pool basically shards to make a bunch of champions plus four and i have to warn you a little bit plus four in champion it is nice but some of them they will just end in your vault all the time there is no use for a let, let me pull up a bad epic champion who's like really bad for a mid game player that is kind of pooling that champion again that is maybe nice but sometimes you have to decide is, is this gonna be a chicken for you or is it gonna be a plus one yeah missionary i don't know that guy too much maybe he is good maybe not i don't know right now but we're gonna use him as example as a bad one and if you never use that champion and he is not even used in centranos anywhere then he's probably not gonna be used for a plus four for you so just don't even think about it just use your food but there are certain champions they are like usable again they get more stats like a solo champion we're gonna take a look at a solo champion that is unfortunately just plus two for me but that will get changed if i get more copies of him i tried a plus two eurogram with a three star blessing and a really really good gear let me show you quickly um euro right there he's already selected it's nice sometimes they aren't and the stats on him are really nice i put kind of really nice maybe it's not the best gear on my account but really nice gear on my account on him he is speedy he is everything else he has accuracy he has resistance a little bit too low right now but it is gonna be good for one um example also later on you can of course live arena stuff will help you but we're gonna check out if he is viable right now in a solo run on dragon 10 that is probably his spot like other champions that have been doing spider for example will be spider champions on the end again if you boost them you won't use any champion that has been done spider on ice golem so that's how we check him out here and a little bit of a spoiler it is possible to do it right now maybe we see a yeah i win and then it's the first epic ever that did dragon 10 solo that is really nice but he wasn't so consistent that i actually make a, a whole video about it because it is actually not working if we get right now a couple of crits back to back to back we are out of the game he's not, not capable to hold it hold the damage and I don't even think if you make him plus four on the end, then he can just, yeah. You need crazy, crazy gear, crazy blessings. It is not out of the window, but on the end, I'm gonna just show you simply why it is never gonna be a 100% on him, but it's more about soloing. I don't think it brings enough by itself to make it work again. If you, give, you are lucky and you get 5 stars, 6 stars on those champions, plus a plus 4, plus life arena bonuses and stuff, it could be possible again, because you get super speedy, you take two, uh, 2 turns while the boss is taking 1 or something, and then it is might possible. But it is not gonna be so incredibly nice that solo farmers on epic spots will come back so easy. Let me tell you it like that right there maybe we die ah uh, no crit that's nice so eurogrim is a really nice one for soloing stuff and i was 
actually surprised that he was able to do it again. And yeah, I am not even plus two. But not every champion will be a cool thing. Let me say it like that. Some you just simply use as food, never try to, and they, they're just not bringing too much on the table. But some champions like a Eurogram, <laughs> you see right here, they can be really viable again. If I put a second champion next to him, it could be a 100%, maybe a second poisoner or something that has kind of similar gear, regeneration, immortal and stuff, and they can come back. And I think that's a good thing. That the champions will get such a great boost that they come back into the meta if you don't have the craziest thing in the world. And the good thing about it is that actually if we have a progressive chance, the voids, they are popping up over and over and over. You know how it is. Maybe you have a hundred of blue shards and one of the, the you select one epic champion, it will come over and over and over. So to get a plus four, it is not so hard. But without all the blessings in the world, all the best gear and stuff not the best in the world and i'm gonna tell you right now why it's not not gonna um, win all the time if the boss is his purple bar is gonna appear and if you lay it out enough poisons then you are not getting a double hit but the poison need to be super high so he will make the purple bar appear then he attacks you stuns you and takes another turn and those purple bar attacks are based on your max hp so that is just end crits, of course. We just saw it right there. He just hit us so hard. And yeah, maybe it's gonna be a win. It would be cool for the video. So we can show a, yes, first epic ever. Yes, do it, Eurogram. Uh, yes, do it, come on, do it. Yes, he's, he did it. Nice. <laughs> for the video, it's cool, but it's not never gonna be viable if you're not like 350 speed and stuff like that. So you take a double turn and it is a little bit weird, but hey, you just saw what happened. A epic champion did solo Dragon 10. It's really nice. So epic empowerments are making your, your, your champions overall better. And those who have been good, gonna they're gonna be better. But those who have been bad, they're gonna stay really bad. And now we're gonna take our Hydra team. I made a Nightmare team and it is doable, but hear me out. We are using legendaries most of the time to make our teams not so affected by RNG. To have like in crazy speeds, overall the, the debuffs are gonna be double block buffs or something. Two champions have, have the same thing but it is great to have them overall all the time. And that's why we use legendaries. If you use epics, totally we can make it work now we got a couple, couple plus four a whisper plus one ursula plus one two but a shama l plus four they can make nightmare work no problem but we need still kind of things in the game like a provoke like a decrease speed like a something something you know what i mean you know you did uh, the hydra already but there is one thing that the epics are really lacking of and that is just the decrease speed, AOE, reliable. There was basically no one was where I was like, hmm, that is really good one or something. There was like someone that can do it, but not really, really. Like we do have a, like we could put a Nia a warning in there. That would be okay. We can put a Naldo in here and he's gonna do it on an AOE, but the rest of it's just single target. He brings nice, debuffs but they're just seeing a target and overall he, he's not bringing too much on the table and that's why i bring actually as no that was the wrong team wait give me a sec i bring astrid in here because we are using whisper and there's another problem what i just saw in my opinion there are just two i, I tried a couple of them like royal guards husk and stuff and yeah, another couple champions like a Miswriter Daifi or what's he what he's called. But there are only two champions that can actually be viable in here. That's a Whisper and a Oboro. Maybe you know someone. Please let me know. For real, please. I wanna know. I will test that out and I can maybe scrap out the Astrid. But Whisper needs a special setup of weaken and decrease defense. So I put just the Astrid in here and a What's his name? Ugo. <laughs> so make Whisper work. But later on, if you use a Oboro, 
then you could use like someone else in there but like i said decrease speed is really lacking <laughs> to be honest we could scrap out ursula on the end put the tagro in here have increased speed on there then we put decrease speed in the spot of astrid and we would be okay but it is not the easiest thing in the world and that's another thing the champions you might think of that can do decent job in hydra they will just do a little bit of a better job on the end it's not like it's gonna be game breaking like let me put someone out here put, let me put out the filter and, and yeah i would still want the epics but someone like a here miss writer divey i tried him but he wasn't really really nice in there like to be honest <laughs> i don't know the hype about him but he was really bad in it maybe another setup or something okay so on the end you're gonna bring your best champions like a geomancer for your iron twins that is a good one to make your accuracy check a little bit easier your speed check a little bit easier or something but a miswriter dive he can be used in centrenos that's what i know and probably he's gonna be a bad example you want to still plus for him for Sintranus on the end or something that could be a viable thing too but you know what I mean the bad champions will stay bad and we won't get are we in nightmare let me check why is it not gonna be displayed on the top right here would be exactly super nice but we're gonna go in there and I'm gonna show you that epics are back on the table they are just more viable they can withstand more damage and that makes it just better they just not dying so often we do have a aoe reviver in there by ursula but we don't need it so often so we can just use her buffs to stay alive and everything will be just a little bit more easy of course nightmare i can go for a plus four whisper on the end and a six star blessing and stuff and everything would be more easy nightmare was a little bit too rng heavy for me to go all the way to the end and give you like a 200 million damage and and something like that i will give you a video in a in a minute or so where we uh, reach the one key but then we got rng and excuse me i we have limited time to actually do all those videos and stuff so i was like hey i'm gonna show you the one key and you, you clearly can see it it can go further if you don't get rng but it is like always like that if you don't kill the heads too crazy quick the rng getting getting heavier and heavier and the provoke will fall out of line and you will get cleansed then the poison cloud goes up and you can get eaten on your on your champion what you need at this moment and you're out of the game that's basically what happened but you can see uh, the damage right now isn't the best to be honest i think something wasn't too good on the beginning let, let me just restart it again I saw like when I started my runs that sometimes in the beginning it was just clearly not doing as good as something but I aim for like a half a million of damage per turn on, on like boss turns on the heads and that is a really good one for me because I'm right now I'm not actually manualing I will later on click some heads if I get eaten and stuff that is okay for me that's totally fine but I'm not manualing and yeah so a half a million is pretty nice it could it can go higher if you want to so but at this point <laughs> I will show you that it is actually work doable that we can do a one key or maybe more if you want to just on epics the epic they got crazy man they they really got crazy they can the most part i think is the most game changing is that they can survive more that is the most good part about it so our whisper will not die over and over on every hit and everything and that's the most thing of course the damage is nice really nice but that they stand over there without being dead even if they don't have the best support in the world that is the most best thing about it but yeah i will give you a quick video where we actually did the one how am i supposed to know
So you saw that I got RNG'd on about 40 million and I don't have the time to do it over and over. Nightmare is a little bit more RNG based. Yeah, like I said, the heads will, won't get killed so often and that's why it's a little bit more RNG heavy. So I went on hard mode and you all can probably agree when I say your epics is it's gonna be a hard team or brutal team you all get legendaries and some kind of better champions on the end to make a better nightmare team so that's what i thought that you probably want to do a hard mode brutal that's where your epics is gonna appear that's why i actually went on a hard mode again to try out to get a decent nice damage output for those hydra clashes with champions that are reachable for you and yeah not the best my whisper has a five star but that's what you want to aim for please go ahead select whisper in your epic wish list and at some time you will get it then it will appear in your market she's totally worth it please go ahead and do so and the champions are overall really nice we got for example rock beast in here is, is he called Rock Priest? Rock Breaker? Something, I forgot his name. I never thought about him before, but I was checking out who got provoked for a AOE. He was in there. He also has a counter attack, makes him more likely to be the mischief target. And I put him in resistance. Everything was, was really cool. And I also saw, hey, he can place those provokes over poison clouds. That is really amazing. And I thought, hey, some epics will come back into the meta later on. They will just be super nice on it you don't have a good provoke you don't have a crisp hey go ahead to use this epic champion maybe you have just a plus two but it will be okay for you to use that plus two one and you're just never likely to die so often because of your pluses we got ursula in here doing a great job decrease attack increase attack many buffs like decrease defense strengthen and all those good things it's just it's also a revive but most in the case we are not even needing it anymore because of the plus fours and stuff they're not gonna die so often even better and yeah astrid i kind of feel a little bit bad that i wasn't able to do a full epic team i can make a full epic team but it will not do that same insane damage on the end what you see right now but yeah i could do one but it wasn't too good just epics are really not the greatest in the world i'm not gonna lie epic champions yeah just it wasn't doable it was just not doable for me and ugo is one of those champions you 100 percent want to make yourself at least one copy for hydra maybe a couple if you get probably 12 of him it could be okay so you got three plus no wait you need five uh yeah 15 if you got 15 do you could do three plus fours and it would be okay for you on the end i, I assume so and chamael <laughs> he always was a good damage dealer in here even the true fear like countering the true fear mechanic of the blue head was insanely good for all your other dps's but 40 percent more attack crit damage speed oh that's what you kind of, of really want to see. And he's not gonna die so often because of HP and stuff. So everything was super nice. And also right here, I do have a video of a run that I already did. I recorded it. I'm not gonna go the whole way in it now, but I will show you like the, the quick sped up video and you will see what happened. And if you kind of like what you see for mostly just being epics in here. So yeah, see you in a second.
come on guys over 300 million just almost by epics is insane on the end you gotta decide which of those epics are worth for you and we as content creator we will figure that for you out we will see which one is good is someone coming into meta into the meta and then you might could think about it and even if you have like something that is super cool in your mind just try it out if you want to but i personally think there are a certain number of champions that can be really viable for you if you have them plus four but some of them are just not 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 at all even worth thinking about it it is more it is just better to have food for yourself those epic foods four star chickens already and it is kind of a little bit better than having them actually plus four or something so epic empowerments are done they will be insane i will get into another topic in the next video about new champions we will get a couple new champions but there will be another topic for another video and yeah that will be the end of the video don't forget to press the like button would really help me out subscribe if you haven't done already and yeah <laughs> have a nice day